when it's just you. Well, times can be tough. Hello there, welcome to another artistic video. This is the Artistic Amateur, and I just want to tell you, if you're not interested in the intro, the time for when the time lapse start will come around here. I know, the last video did the exact same thing with my fingers, but you know what, it's going to be my cliche now. Either way, so today's drawing, just like for those who are interested in what this intro is about, is talking about what I'm going to draw, how I came up, no, no, just what I'm going to draw, and the stuff I'll use, and there might be some random miscellaneous things in between. So, um, since this video is not a tutorial, I kind of went ahead and did some like drawing to make to see to see what I was going to I mean how um the design of the thing I was going to draw and the thing I was going to draw today is a dwarf. You'd be like, "Dude, where you came up with that?" I'm like, "You know what? I didn't come up with it. I asked someone off of Instagram. And if they want me to um uh, I don't know if they want a shout out or something like me saying their name. If they do, I'll put them in the description. If not, well, you already know. I'm not going to. And then there's that. So I'm going to draw a dwarf because I asked someone they're like, "You know what? You should." And I'm like, "On my own, I would never think of drawing a dwarf because that's not me." But the fact is, it's always good to ask someone to uh, what you should draw because they give you something that you don't think about and then it makes you a better artist. So, today is a dwarf. And you'd be like, okay, so are you going to draw on this piece of paper? And I would respond with, no, actually. I'm going to draw on this awesome little book thing because, you know, the paper is pretty nice. But either way, that's I'll show that off later. This right here, the reason why it's, um, you'd be like, why I said no is because I used it to um, do a little bit of design to see how I wanted the dwarf's head to look like. And as you can see, I drew six. And you'd be wondering, okay, well, so which one are you deciding to use? And my answer to that is a six one. Because I like him because I come by, when I was drawing a cross, right, I ran into these two. I like these two the most so far when I got up to this guy. So the six one, I decided to combine these two. And I got this guy. And I liked it. And you'd be wondering, well, that doesn't look that much like a dwarf. And I apologize, but the thing is, like, when I was looking at dwarfs, their foreheads are small and their nose are pretty big. So probably in the actual drawing, I might um just increase the nose size by a lot and then shrink the forehead. That's something that I notice at least. And I know they also like live in medieval times, so I'm gonna have an interesting time with that. So there's this. And now the tools that I'll be using, which will be the one and only mechanical pencil that I always use for no reason. But I use it, I mean, no, for a reason. I use the mechanical pencil to draw these, but because these are not going to be like the final drawings or anything. These are for out, this I use for outlining and things like, I mean, to drawing the base. The second, the fine point ink pen. I love this thing just because of its fine point. Nothing else. Well, yeah, actually, well, no. Also, this piece of paper that I use to put under my hands because I don't have a drawing glove. So I'm going to use that to um, make sure I don't rub all the all of it together because you know as much as things like to combine you don't want them to and then also the thing that will make or break the drawing will be what's in here and that my friends are shading pencils so as you can see you have these weird paper things here which are called which are not called blenders they are blend they're for blending but i'm pretty sure these are called stumps and i 100 percent forgot what this was you see, I almost sound this smart. Almost. Alright, there's that. These, and you can see I used that already. But it's because they're pretty good. Now, this is an eraser that I that uh, came with the little case thing I bought for like five bucks, by the way. It's not that. These things aren't expensive. I think what they call this one is a vinyl eraser. Something like that. It's pretty nice. I used it. I like this one. Also, a sharpener, which I, might, I probably won't use because I have an electric one. Because also, the lead breaks all the time when I use that one. Also, you can see this little fancy little uh, thing that I use to see the difference between each one. So every single time I grab one, I'll be like, okay, where, did, where, where, where on this does it pop up? I'm going to leave this one in here because generally I don't... Actually, no, no. I should take this out. Also, there's a kneaded eraser, which I haven't taken out the case yet. I probably won't even use this, so I'll just make that one short. And then, of course... I know. And of course, there's the shading pencils. I wish I had like a fancier thing to put them in, but I do not. But for me, it doesn't matter. You don't need the fanciest things to be a good artist or anything like that. So these are the things I'll be using. But I'll leave them in here because it's much easier to keep track of. So, every, this will stay out here so I can have a quick reference. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this little intro thing showing you what I'll be using. And things like that. And I just wanted to say, I uh, hope you enjoyed the time lapse.